really excited about the RV show. We're going to do a meet and greet Saturday and Sunday, and a lot of people have already said they're going to meet us there, so I'm very excited to meet some new people at the show. Also a little bit nervous. I have a feeling that we're going to meet a lot of people at the meet and greet this weekend. Well, it's one of the reasons why we love this lifestyle so much, is we really enjoy meeting new people. Yep. And we actually met some people on our way into that parking lot. Okay, we're at the KOA. In our dirty windshield. Yep. We need to wash that thing. Our buck splattered windshield. RV registration. You guys hang tight. First time at a KOA, should be fun. Clubhouse, registration. Okay, we're all set. Did we get a good spot? Well, they are fully booked, so all the spots are pre-assigned. But it looks like we're a good spot. We're right at the end, and the woman said there's a nice little um, grass patch right there. So we can face out that way, and we're kind of on the edge away from everyone. Is it shaded? I don't know, but there looks like there are quite a few trees here. What do you think, bud? He's excited. This place is packed. Yeah, it is. Oh, we have shade. Perfect. Are you going to back in? Yeah, see if the cord will reach. Well, the pedestal's on the left on this side. Oh, yeah. The bathrooms here are really nice. There's free breakfast in the morning, pool jacuzzi that we got a key for, and then the Fairplex RV show is right next door, and there's a little path we can just walk right over. All right, let's put the AC on. All of our sardines that we stocked up on. A little fan to help Leo stay cool. This works a lot better if you put it on the outside. All right, now we can stay nice and cool. After you, my love. Thank you. Hey, Leo. When are we going to start our live? Soon. <laughs> we have to find a good oh, look, spot. Oh, Happier Camper is here. If you haven't checked it out, we did a really cool walkthrough with Lulu. We did. Full walkthrough of one of these, all the features and everything. Check it out. How's it going, man? Nice to meet you. Do you mind being in our video? Of course not. You guys just uh, kind of scoping it out today? Yeah, we just walked in. We've had a lot of people say hello to us already. Mark, thank you for stopping us and saying hello. Oh, I like that display. Aww. That's cute. It's so hot. Look at my head. Oh, dear. When we come back tomorrow, I should bring a towel. You know what we need? What's that? We need that cool mist thing they had at Universal Studios Hollywood. Yep. And just have that blow the entire time. Oh, look at this thing. It's got the rear bath. Yeah. Good, how are you guys? Hi. We just finished our first Facebook Live. A lot of fun, and if you missed it, check out this video. And we're live. It's our first time being live on Facebook. It's kind of crazy. And we're at the RV show, California RV show, and- They made a really cool banner for us. I know, us. this thing is awesome. Come say hi, we're gonna chat about van life and Joe's new book. Yep, Take Risks, 
And we've already met a lot of you at the show already, so can't wait to see you guys at the meet and greet. We're gonna go around today, take a look at the rest of the show, and some of that footage may or may not make it up onto YouTube. So for any of you wondering, we have the Active 2.0, this is the 1.0, and really the only difference is that extra foot in the back that we have. Feels like we're right back at home. The only difference with ours is we don't have a microwave. We asked them to take that out. And we have more storage in the back. So there are two cabinets here. We have three in ours. And then there is more storage down below. And the bed is a foot wider. We did a full van tour. If you guys haven't checked it out, you can head over to our YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Where to? I don't know. Ooh, I do want to see the e-trek though. Is this all electric? Yes. So, induction stove. I'm really happy most of the RVs have their AC on. It's really hot today. Me too. Is that the bathroom? The bathroom. You know, I used to think these were really small when we first looked at them. Now this feels like a luxury bath. I have so much room in here. <laughs> Don't trip down the stairs. I'm gonna try not to. Where There's are you headed? Travel. Oh, we got stickers. If you guys come down to the show, we'll give you stickers. Robert, wanted to let you know I finally got the book up for print version. So for any of you who didn't want a digital version of the book, there's now a print version of Take Risks on Amazon. So check it out. We're live on Facebook. Hey, how's it going? The <laughs> Russos are in town. Sir, good to see you good again. Good to see you. How are, How are you? you? I am great. It's been a year. I know. Welcome to Leisure Travel Bands. Thank, Thank you. you. Anything cool this year? New? Uh, we have a brand new uh, twin bed model on the Ford Transit chassis. We call it the Wonder FTB. So it's very unique. It's a front twin bed model. Nice. Do you want to give us a quick tour? Sure. Let's have a look at it. So this is pretty cool. This is our newest one. Hi, guys. I know who you are. <laughs> How's this oh, for a bathroom? Look at the size oh, of this. Nice. 35 inches wide. How tall are you? I'm well over 6'1", 6'2", with my shoes on. I can't even touch the top. So private bathroom, private door comes across. Three-piece bathroom. So we're only 24 feet, 9 inches. So it's relatively small uh, motor home as far as size goes. But we have a huge dry bath. Two-burner stove. Big deep stainless steel sink. Look at this. Likewise. <laughs> Tons of storage area. Three-way fridge, convection microwave, and then look at that hanging closet. Oh my goodness. It's massive. Joe, you can fit in there. I could definitely Yeah. Man. This table actually swivels over. Right, it's on a swivel base, the table. The table top goes on top of it. How cool is that? That's really nice. It's a nice big swivel table. So of course we have the two sofas and they pull together make into one king bed or you can have two separate sleeping areas. I'm trying not to get you guys in the video. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so you don't mind then. Yeah. No, okay. I don't mind. But I like the fact you're looking at these because of us, so. How exciting cool. then to meet you here. That's yeah. cool. I just want to show you the exterior storage. So we have storage underneath. Truma hot water heater. Two-piece ladder. Oh, look at this. Like, I mean, not only do you have tons of interior storage space, but Oh, wow. Huge exterior storage space as well. It's hard to believe. Storage, more storage underneath both of the uh, twin beds on both sides. And of course, this is the uh, Wonder Murphy bed. So once again, on the Ford Transit chassis. Ready? Yep. Look at this. Awesome. Wow. So full That's residential queen. Favorite. Yeah. It's a residential queen. It's 60 by 80, so you can put queen queen sheets on it, queen comforter. You leave all the bedding on there. Just Very nice. Back up. You can sit in bed and watch TV. I know. I love it. And once again, it's on the new uh, diesel Ford diesel chassis. Good to see you. Hey, my pleasure. Have a good show. Yep. Enjoy. Sure, great to see you. <laughs> see you guys. Okay, where to? Uh, let's go check out Sportsmobile. We're Who's live those? on Facebook. <laughs> What's up? This is, this is your second live event. Facebook Live. <laughs> Joe. How's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, Good. Nice to meet you. We yeah. want to check this out. Cool, this is our ba basic Metris. So it's a Metris passenger van that we put uh, the pop top on. And so it's kind of more of a weekender. You use it every day with all the seating. Uh, the seats pop out easily. Uh, 
pop top, has mm -hmm. an upper bed for two. The way this one sits okay. is 49.5. It's an affordable little camper that can be pretty versatile. Mm -hmm. And all the seats can come out, so you could load a, a bunch of stuff in there if you had to. Okay. Does it come with all the seats? It does. This is all Mercedes factory passenger van. And then we incorporate, so all the curtain airbags are still functional. Uh, all the air conditioning is still functional on the back. Um, it's been crush tested and approved by Mercedes, so all the safety standards are, nice. are up. And then I got a cool one over here if you want another Metris. So this yeah. is the full Metris camper. And this is also modular, so the seats come in and out. Um, I'll show you a couple cabinets that remove. So again, the bed, the rear bed removes. You could go to Home Depot and load a washer dryer in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's versatile. You could, yeah. you could take all this stuff out. This cabinet, this cabinet, all this would remove, and then you have a big cargo van. And it's all due to the track system in the floor, which again is all Mercedes tested approved. Uh, these seats fold down, and then this bed will extend. And then you, of course, have the upper bed. Nice. And then you have, uh, you know, of course, being the minivan, everything's a bit more compact. So you've got a little refrigerator here, all 12 volt tied into the factory Mercedes auxiliary battery. This piece here flips over and you have a little portable stove. Oh, wow. And you can take it outside if you want. Very um, cool. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Your sink is here. Uh, this piece also has a suction cup fitting so you can take it on the outside and use it as an outdoor shower. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then a little more storage around the sink and, and down here is the gray water tank which you can just take and remove. Uh, oh, like a little empty. cassette. It's a little cassette, exactly. You can also just remove these cabinets in that rear bed and get two more seats and then make this a six passenger van. So, it's all on the track system, you said. Exactly, yeah, the track system is the key. And there's storage under the seats, too? A little bit, yeah, okay. there's some framing, but as you guys, I'm sure, know, you use every, every inch little, you can yeah. find That's stuff. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, so these are, are pretty fun. And then we also brought three sprinters, two with the penthouse top and one tall roof with the full bathroom, um, you know, more of the classic RV interior. And we have two classics. Uh, Love the classic. Yeah, we had a 66 Volkswagen and a 72 Ford. Um, and then we have our Ford Classic, which is our, actually our new model, which is a fiberglass body out there. It's Bethany red. wants to know, what's the lead time for a new Sportsmobile Sprinter? A Sprinter, we're about 12 to 15 months. Um, of course, they're all customized, so it takes a little bit longer. The lead time on getting a Sprinter van is 10 to 12 months uh, if you want four-wheel drive. Okay. Uh, Two-wheel drive, it's more in the four-month time frame, um, so that can cut down lead times a little bit, but you're looking at about a year. Do you have advice for people or things to think about if they're considering a 4x4? Four four? Yeah, I mean, it's the expense isn't, isn't too much. It's $7,500 from factory on the Sprinter. You know, you have to ask yourself, where do you want to go? Do you, do you ski and do that kind of thing? Of course, you can bring chains and deal with that, but a lot of people don't want to, and it's you know, nice having the four-wheel drive and the all-terrain capabilities, doing dirt roads in case you encounter something. You know, it's not necessarily for a hardcore off-road enthusi enthusiast. Uh, it can just get you to the campsite you want to get to, and it might be off the beaten path. So I personally couldn't do it without it. It's a little more fun. It's more adventurous, the places you can go. And, you know, we've done some uh, stuff in Death Valley and off the beaten path that, you know, a two-wheel drive I, I wouldn't trust. Yeah. You know, just sand wash here and there, and you can get into trouble. Well, thanks for the quick tour and yeah. for letting us interrupt your conversation. No, it's all good. All right, enjoy the <laughs> thanks, show. Thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, see ya. Oh, man, it is packed in that van. At the Winnebago booth, Fit RV. Fit Hi, guys. Steph and James, we finally meet them. Finally. Hello, hello. <laughs> Are you protecting the van? Leo, I just need to close the door, bud. You can be such a stubborn husky sometimes. I really enjoyed yesterday's meet and greet. I did too. It was a lot of fun getting to meet people. And I think for me, it was really inspirational because so many people were inspired by our videos that it really, really was heartfelt. 
Yeah, it was nice for everyone to come out. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Looking forward to day two? Uh-huh. And it's a little bit cooler today, so that'll be good. Leo wants to keep going. As excited as I am for the meet and greet today, more excited about the Packers game. Go Pack Go! Kickoff is during the meet and greet. Be funny if people walk over and start giving you updates of the game. That would be kind of awesome. Yeah. Leo's private little pet walk. I know a lot of you who are coming to the show are looking forward to meeting Leo. It's just too hot for him. So we're going to leave him in the van with the AC cranked. There you go. I think yesterday was 95. Today is going to be 85. I think it'll be closer to 90. Probably. All right, let me get the AC on and then we can get going. Got my coffee. This is my meet and greet shirt. I love the fact that a lot of you who came by the booth yesterday walked up to me and they're like, Joe, where's your coffee? I reached down onto the desk and I said, right here. <laughs> so the first time we came to the California RV show, was in 2014. Yeah. And that's when we were shopping for a Class A motorhome. The one thing I noticed, and holy cow, this place has gotten packed. Yeah. The line to get in is out of control. They have shuttles, shuttling people from another lot. A world of difference from when we came here three years ago. Yeah, when we came, there was like half this lot was empty, no problem parking, and we came on the first weekend of the show. It is packed already, and it's not even 10.30 in the morning. Plenty of porta potties. This is a 2018 model, brand new inside, very nice. Look at that line. <laughs> We're in! Wait, let's look around a bit before we go over to the booth. Okay. We have some time. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. John and Lane. Joe. Oh, we watch your show. Do you mind being on our video? Yes. <laughs> YouTube video. Nice to meet oh, you. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Are you guys getting a van? Uh, yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, the CS Adventures. Oh, very nice. <laughs> We're going to go set up, come by and show up, hang out, yeah. grab some swag. Okay. Thanks. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. I love our banner. Our banner is awesome. Big thank you to the whole Heimer Road Trek marketing team for putting this together for us. You guys were awesome. I love it. We got the koozies. Those are nice. But the most popular one, where is it? What Kate has on right now, the Heimer glasses. People love these things. We're going to Disneyland on Tuesday in our van. Good morning. How's Leo doing outside? He's enjoying it. He loves hanging out outside. I am making an Ethiopian that I picked up at Demitas. One of my favorite coffees. Is that the reason we keep driving all the way back to California so you can stock up on coffee? It really is. And I'll drive all the way back to Oregon for Thump and a few of the other coffees I had there. Do you like my new shirt? I do. I'm going to have to put mine on. Uh-huh. Flywheel, thank you. My, vo <clears throat> my voice is a little lost this morning, but we really enjoyed meeting everyone and loved the stories you told as you came by. Um, however, tomorrow is Kate's birthday. We're heading over to her parents' house. <clears throat> Sorry. And then we're driving over to my mother's house to drop Leo off for the day. So on Tuesday, we can go to Disneyland, which is where I proposed to Kate. So I'm taking her to Disneyland for her birthday. Off to my birthday lunch. Uh, Kate's parents are up front right now. We're not allowed to film them. But they are 
they are here with us. Do you guys want to say hi? Hi. Everyone loves mom. <laughs> Do you know I'm how? My favorite voice. <laughs> Hi, this is Bob and Sadri. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click up here to watch more episodes. And hope you're gonna love it. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And do that. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you dig it. So awesome. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. All right, thank you.